मायसेल बादल भूषण असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग आई एम टी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग ग्रेटर नोएडा टूडे लेक्चर टॉपिक ऑन द पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग दिस इज द दीज आर द कंटेंट्स ऑफ द पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग फर्स्ट कंटेंट इंट्रोडक्शन टू द पाइथन डिफरेंस बिटवीन द स्क्रिप्टिंग लैंग्वेज एंड प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज बिगनिंग विद द पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग how python can install why to use the python python code execution python programming cycle for the python python ideally and ide it is a brief uh, introduction about the python and how you can install it so basically the python is a uh, very general purpose language it is also called a high level language it is a uh, initially designed by guido when uh, region in 1991 and developed by the python software foundation uh, it is uh, mainly developed uh, on the basis for the reliability and its a syntax allow the program to express in very few lines of the code that means you there are much more lines you can conclude in a, within a short line in a python language this is the one of the benefit python is a general purpose programming lang language that is applied in scripting role so the python programming language it is a programming not a console it is a scripting programming language so uh, you can also call a python programming language as well as the scripting language and python also called uh, as a interpreted language basically there are two major python version python 2 and python 3 uh, there was a history actually so python 2 basically on 16 october 2000 python 2.0 was released with many few features uh, whereas uh, uh, the python can develop day to day now in uh, 3rd of december 2008 the python 3.0 was released with more testing and includes new feature the new feature it means uh, the new version have uh, comes to the more and more uh, features with respect to the 2.0 so there are the difference between first of all understand the difference between the scripting language and programming language basically the python programming is what actually a scripting language so programming language that support scripts programming written a special runtime environment that automate the execution of task whereas the programming language it is a just like a formal language comprised of set of instruction and used produce the various kinds of outputs and uh, one scripting language that is execute uh, speed is very slow in the case of scripting language other than the compiler based language are executed much faster while interpreted based languages are executed slower so the scripting language can can be divided into the client side scripting language and server side scripting language in the both the sides you can use the python programming language in a uh, in a client side scripting as well as the server side scripting in the case of programming it can be divided into the high level high high level low level languages or compile based or interpreted based language uh, in the scripting language is very easier to learn means you can write the short up uh, program in python uh, whereas uh, the programming language it is required more than much lines so not easy to learn actually 
scripting language uh, like JavaScripting, Perl, PHP, Python. So these are language for the scripting language, where the programming language, C, C++, and other than the assembling language, like Java programming language, these are the languages, programming languages. Uh, where is the Python uh, scripting language used in web development? And the programming language used to develop the various applications such as desktop, web, mobile, etc. Now, the beginning uh, with the Python programming. So, finding the interpreted. Before we start the Python programming, we need to the interpret interpreter to interpret the run and run over the programmer. So there are a certain online interpreter. That means in a Python programming uh, language, that is a scripting language, you can you can use the some integrated development environment. There are some website is there. You can use them. The website you can you can write the script on the online uh, Python programming language. You can uh, you can compile them on online. Means there is a, some uh, things an environment that is an integrated development environment using the using some sites which is on based on the cloud sites that are IDE Greek for Greek dot org is the one of the site you can use them id1 dot com you can use them codepad dot org you can use them for for ideal uh, use the uh, ideal environment that can be used to start the python with the stalling and interpret okay these are the you know window based there are many interpreted available freely you can run python scripts like ideally ideally means it is an integrated development environment or integrated development learning environment you can learn them that use of the particular environment which is installed when you install a python software from org if you wish to if you wish to the run the program of the python in your uh, desktop or the laptop, you can use, uh, uh, you can you can you can uh, download uh, software uh, for Python from the website is python dot org. Okay, so two things is very important that whether your program you can you can run them at a particular environment in using the various website. Like IDE, Greek for with Greek, the ORG, like that is a list of uh, the website you can use them, and you can write the script uh, of the Python and run them. Uh, if you wish to the run the program on the la laptop, so you need to the download the Python installation, the Python install from uh, Python ORG. Okay. Uh, let me see once just wait a few moments it is what actually I wanted to use the python dot org python dot org just use them ok this is the site of the python.org you can download from here and check the download python 3.11.4 it is the latest uh, uh, version of the python you can click them here and see the python uh, software is uh, uh, downloading downloading start and use them and sh show the folder here yes click on this
okay this is what actually it is a python uh, it is going to the install uh, use of uh, the particular uh, uh, python software uh, because in my pc already installed the python so no need to use them okay so i make them some cancel because i have already installed the python program okay for example i'm just using python okay see okay this is what actually it is a cell scripting uh, it is a ideal environment you can use them just wait few moments you can add 3 plus 2 a total you can use 5 directly you can use them like this you can use print print hello hello see you print it just print uh, print this is my first python program see okay so the content will be display but see what actually it is a display it is a it is a command cell prompt of the python you can use the or instruction or one line statement not more than the lines you can write on the uh, particular ideal environment okay so you can use them it is a cell scripting program you can use for example a equals to 100 b equals to 500 you need to the add in both that is what actually c c equals to a plus b okay now you need to the print print c print c so there is 600 500 and 100 it is a 600 okay so you can calculate them and print on that one you can use that a c it is a very case sensitive because a is nothing else here so in in the case of a is a variable it is a in a capital letter use them a so a uh, 100 is already in a slide into the a you can use capital b uh, 500 you can use small b that is a known uh, the small b is not declared so you can use capital b so that's why i'm saying it is a case sensitive okay now come to the point i think you have to understand how can you install your python now why to use the python so the following are the primary factors to use the python in day to day life number 1 python is object oriented definitely uh, it is a structure support such concept as the polymorphism operations overloading and multiple inheritance whatever you have to use into this python programming it is a definitely 100% object oriented programming like java c++ these are the object oriented same as the python is also the object oriented programming scripting language indentation it is a indentation is a one of the greatest feature in the in the python it's a free open source so no need to the pay to pay for downloading of any python uh, software you can you can uh, download freely 100 per sub to absolutely free free of cost you can install the python from the python.org fourth points it's a powerful why it's a powerful because it is a dynamic typing building types and uh, tools 
library utilities utilities third party utilities like numeric numpy scipy these are the third party of the python you can use them so numeric numpy uh, these are the different software you can it is a it is a part of the python but it is used for the different purposes okay automatic memory management it is not just is the memory actually it is a reduce the memory automatically it's a portable yes it is a portable python runs virtually uh, uh, every major platforms used today as long as you have to com compatible python interpreted installed python programming will run in exactly the same manner irrespective of the platform so python uh, portable you can use anywhere over the world now six point is it's easy to use to the learn that means no intermediate uh, compile python programming are compiled automatically to a uh, intermediate form the called byte code yes byte code uh, which is interpreted can be read so python uh, when you use the python programming and compile them uh, it's a, you can compile on the on the python such as a virtual environment for example java programming language when you compile the java programming it is required to the jvm actually java virtual machine same as the python have it is required uh, the one of the environment that is a python virtual environment where is you can you can uh, compile them automatically intermediate it, it is convert into the byte code byte code uh, it is required to the you know some machine languages uh, it is a native languages machine language can understand the byte code next point is uh, this gives python the development speed of and interpreted without the performance lose inheritance the purely interpreted language means uh, it is it is a purely uh, uh, interpreted language because nothing inter uh, interrupt in between the um, uh, lines whatever the short of line of the program you have to retain ideally now the next point is structure and syntax are pretty intuitive and easy to grasp you can easily understand it is a very easy understanding you can write them the python program seventh interpreted language yes it is interpreted language python is processed at run time by the python interpreted now the next is interactive programming language user can interact with the python interpreted directly for writing the program so user can write the pro, uh, uh, write, write the program and compile them then user can interact directly with the python programming state forward syntax it's a very easy uh, to write the syntax of the uh, in the python language see the the formation of the python syntax is the very simple and state forward which is also makes it the popular so that it's a prop popular why it's a popular it's a very easy to write the program on the editor you can install them uh, already understand how can install the uh, python uh, python.org is the one of the site where you have to uh, download the python programming uh, installer uh you can it is it is easily available for the python script like a ideally step to the following and recommended it first step select the version of the python to install develop the python executable installer run executable installer verify python was installed on the window um verify pipe was installed add the python path environment variable so these are the steps to uh, make sure you have to install already uh, already used for the installation
okay and now like this it is a snapshot of the how can install it is a uh, install the python software for 64 bits or now you can use them install now and then uh, take place with the very uh, you know uh, located uh, the Python path. Now it is a cell scripting. It is a snapshot is a, a given to you. You you can you can uh, you can type them. Uh, two plus three print hello world. You can print is very easily. Already uh, we have to already discussed. Okay, running Python in a script model mod you can you can type them on the editor because uh, it is a cell scripting uh, console window you can write the python uh, script or the line it is a one line program uh, on the cell scripting don't uh, you can use the more than one lines of the cell scripting on, on the particular console area that is a black area okay uh, if you wish to write the program more than one line, so there is a required some uh, Python file. So by default, py is the extension. Uh, that is what actually uh, py. It is the extension file of the any Python code. You you can write the you know blo block of the statement or you bunch of the statement in a particular. Uh, uh, file. When compile this, it is a creator such a Python environment. Okay, it is required to some virtual machine. Python file dot py. It is one of the file, and you can you can uh, run them on the Python environment. There are two modes of the using the Python interpreter: interactive mode and scripting mode. Definitely, it is required uh, some one line of a statement. It is what actually you can you can use the interactive mode. For example, print hello world. It is a one line statement. Whenever uh, write the hello world under the print uh, parenthesis and enter, then the hello world can be display the result. It is what actually interactive. You can interact. Uh, with the cell scripting, one line statement basically. You can write also the quarterly stored the memory typing with the name of, uh, will display it 0, 1, 2. You can use 2 plus, 2 plus 3 that is 5. It is a one line uh, scripting programming language. Now come to the very important points is uh, either you have to write uh, the one line statement uh, it is required some cell scripting like this. Print hello world like one line statement. Okay, uh, you can use two plus three also, and then print the add of the two value directly. So it is an interactive mode, basically. Uh, yes. So if you uh, write the you know more than one lines, it is required some. Uh, Python files. So by default, py is the extension name of the Python file. So working with the Python, Python code of execution, Python, Python traditional runtime execution model, you can write the source code. Source code you can type those and uh, and translate into the bytecode because bytecode it is required to understand uh, understand by the machine. Which uh, uh, which is then run by the Python virtual machine, same as JVM, same as PVM, PVM for the Python virtual machine. JVM means Java virtual machine. Your code is automatically compiled, but then it is uh, interpreted. So source code, it is indicated source code m dot py. It is a source code. When compile this uh, Python programming file, convert into the PYC, it is a file extension name of the M. It is a bytecode file. 
and basically which is run on the PVM that is a Python virtual machine. It is a, it is required to runtime environment. <laughs> okay, now come to the next important thing: the programming cycle for the Python. Definitely, it is required some cycles. When you use the compile to provide the logic for your programs, it is called a cycle programming. Basically, uh, the programming cycle is the series of the steps that your program repeats until an end of the file conditions to read. Depending on the specification, your code, the program may or may not use each step in the cycle. Uh, the figure is shows is what actually it is a first of all the use is the m.py it is a collection of uh, the source code of in the in a python when compile of this and convert into the byte code that is m.pyc now you have to use the runtime environment so this is basically it is a python cycle of the python it is a programming cycle how can how can python programming can cycling uh, uh, cyclic rotation First, you have to write the Python code on Python editor. Now, after that, you run them. It is it it is a it is a required okay. Then yes, then more input is required. If more yes, then again you run uh, with some inputs. If uh, not required, then no. Then finish the program. It is the one of the cycle. Again, uh, you write the program. And now your the that program on the run with the same inputs. Now it is okay. It is not okay. Then again you can write them or edit them. It is cycling. It is a cycle of the program, and it is required to some uh, Python virtual machine. Okay. Now Python IDLE or IDE basically. Ideally, it is what actually integrated development and learning environment. It is a, a environment where you have to uh, learn them the Python program. You can write them without any uh, Python uh, software installation on your desktop or the laptop. You can use the directly IDE means integrated development environment by using a online Python. Uh, free uh, free uh, python code programming uh, compilations you can use them the python installer for the windows constant contains the ideally model by the by default so ideally already is there and you can use them if you don't want to use them you can install the python program so ideally can be used to execute the single Single statement, just like a Python cell, and also create a modify and execute Python script. Means ideally, it is a one of the environment where you have to write this Python program. But it is what actually it is a one line statement program. You can use them. Ideally, provides a fully uh, feature text uh, editor to create the Python script that includes the feature. Like syntax highlighting, auto compilation, and a smart indent. It also has a debugger and a stepping and breakpoints the feature. So that is there are the huge numbers of the features already in built uh, for the Python using of the ideal environment for the execution of the Python program. See for that, it is what actually. It is a just like ideally. Uh, this will be open for ideally, uh, where you have to write the program, write the, you know, uh, you can write the one-line statement. Okay. So like this, you can use three plus two, and you have to five, three into three into nine. It is a one-line statement. You can write them ideally. Okay. Three plus two, same as. 
okay now you can you can save save the particular you know uh, file program in a file extension is dot uh, py is the extension of the python program so to execute the python script to create new file by selecting file new file and use the menu you can like file uh, new file also so enter the multiple statement and save the file with the extension dot py py is what actually it is a extension file of the python using file for example save the pro, uh, save the following code that is hello dot py it is a na file name of the python program so the python ide in integrated development environment there are many free and commercial ideally available for the python uh, uh, last time the beginning of the my lecture already uh, uh, aware about the ideally there have the some uh, free of cost uh, uh, environment you can use them some site and write Uh, some uh, python program and compile them freely here uh, we will learn how to use the some open source editor to execute the python script or a statement so you can use the ideally and uh, jupyter notebook definitely jupyter notebook it is a one of the uh, ide environment where you have to write uh, the python program but it is a more advantage with respect to the shell scripting so jupyter notebook nowadays the jupyter notebook is a very popular to uh, write the program that is not only the single line the program but also you have to write the uh, multi lines of the program and compile them and run and get some output according to the jupyter notebook and some uh, short of the uh, you know uh, some software is there spider uh, in a spider sci-fi numpy uh, mat polylive pandas etc is uh, the some components of the uh, you have to use in the in a particular ideal environment like jupyter notebook and you have to use some special task to use of the numpy now different uh, different software is there uh, py dev radio uh, sublime text wings eric python class editor item uh, pycharm so these are the popular software you have to use for the python ide that is a integrated development environment so i think you have to understand uh, the python programming how can i install them how can uh, use them and you you know very well about the ideally ideal ideally id it is a integrated development program so uh, the my objective is that what actual uh, what what is the meaning of the python what the uh, main feature of the python why the python you have to use what are the advantages of the python Uh, it is a scripting language or the programming language you have to uh, discriminate in between the scripting language and the programming language so this is what actually this is the first part of the lecture of the introduction part of the python programming so thank you very much this is this will be again we have to make them some video for the next lecture for deep and deep for the python programming so thank you very much thank you uh, namaste uh, goodbye thank you very much